One of the most versatile items in the produce aisle, and today we are celebrating National Avocado Day. I mean, we really should have the day off. It's so important. <laughs> it is great in appetizers, main dishes, even desserts. Joining us this morning, Douglas Martinez, chef de cuisine at Citrus and Salt in the Back Bay. And thanks for coming in. It's such a special big day. Why do people love avocados? Why are they so special? Avocados are so special because you can get so many multiple options just from this one single item. Mm. One single item from like getting it in a salad to like putting it in a smoothie is just really good for you. It's so versatile. Why? A lot of people don't realize it's a fruit. What, what makes it a fruit? So that's it's like the big discussion that a lot of people don't know. That is a fruit because it grows in a tree and it's a single series. It's a big berry. <laughs> single mm -hmm. series big berry. You know? And that's the open to discussion to a lot of people that it, it's a vegetable. It's a fruit. But it's just a fruit. <laughs> just a fruit. It's got the nut inside. Yeah, yes. let's talk about some of the health benefits because we all know Tom Brady, of course, likes avocado ice cream. And we always <laughs> talk about how healthy it is. I mean, it does have a lot of fat in it, but yes. it, is have, it does have a lot of health benefits. Yeah, so it contains like multivitamins antioxidants, um, minerals, and it's really important that it is really good fat. Mm. And a lot of people say it's one of those superfoods. So what are your favorite ways to eat avocado, prepare it? What's your favorite way to do it? So that's what it makes a chef a chef, that we can get to play with it mm -hmm. and we get to taste it in different ways. But So I wouldn't be able to pick one, but guacamole is one of the most guacamole popular, well-known so um, what can you show avocado. us right now? I see we have a couple of yes, avocados. We have a knife. So an uh, let's, guacamole. let's oh uh, guacamole. Yeah. Yes. Show us how, how you make guacamole. Give us some tips because so everybody likes guacamole. The first important part is that you have to get ripe avocados. Yeah. Yeah. Just be um, if you test them, test them from the top. Because you test them from this way, uh, sideways, sometimes you can bruise them. By the oh, time you test them from the top. So yes. what am I looking for at the top? That it is nice and soft. Oh yeah. I know some people yes. will take wow. this little. They'll take the little stem off yes. to see if it's brown yep. in there. Is that a good way? Would you yes, say to it test it? Too? It is. Okay. Yeah, and uh, some people also need to develop the skins, the skills to like, yes, get it off the seed. It's cutting around. Yep. Twisting it. We like, got oh, a yeah. really it's nice perfect. ripe avocado. Get the oh, cigar. that's what I do. Okay, that's, that's good. Yes. good. That's <laughs> Validated. Yay! Yes. You make it look yes, so have easy. To be really careful. Really not careful. Not to cut yeah. yourself. Mm -hmm. Twist it. Those are beautiful. Excellent. I'm interested to see what you do next. Here, here. So I um, just scoop it out. You yes. scoop it out? Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> So then you scoop you it out. It's really hard skin, so it's really easy to just to get them out. Okay. Wow. Do you like to keep yours in the fridge at, when it starts to get soft and, you know, so that it can last a little longer? No, or? so you need to be really careful of that because, like, um, it's better to ha get them, like, room temperature because if you keep them in the fridge, sometimes if they are not really ripe, they will just, like, never get ripe and they, they right. will get, like... All right, a, we're running out of time, so I'm going to have you just do these three real quick or... Quickly do that. Yep. Absolutely. All right. What do yes. we do next? So now we're gonna smash them. Okay. This is, yes. Smash. Them. I oh, don't like mushy it. guacamole. I like a little chunky. I do too. I like it. And then what do you put in your guacamole, real quick, after you smash it? Look at that. Looks oh, pretty good. Okay. What do we got so here? So now we are gonna chop cilantro. 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 Okay. Um, I like to use um, tomatillos, which is green. Toma uh, tomatillo. tomatillo. Yes, because I like to keep the bright green color. Okay, well, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to have the finished product. We come back. Stay with us. You're watching the morning mix. <laughs> All right, real quick, here's the finished product. What do we got in here, Chef? Real so quick. So, we got um, lime juice, sea salt, cilantro, tomatillo, jalapenos, and um, the most important part, avocado. Avocado. <laughs> yeah. National oh. avocado. All right, day. citrus and salt. This looks so good. This is what they serve there. Oh my God. So good. Lime juice, you said? Yes. That's what I'm doing wrong. That is no, no, no. No. Chef Douglas, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. This is the best uh, oh. guacamole ever. Have a oh great day. Oh gosh.